guys, so I'm back with another tutorial and today I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Eye Heart Chocolate and the Iconic Pro Palette. Or is it the Iconic Pro? Yeah, this, it is the Iconic Pro Palette. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye! Alright, let's get on to it. Right, so I'm starting off with my moisturizer, which is the Johnson Baby Milk and Rice Cream, and then I'm applying my uh, primer from Prestige. This is a silicone-based primer, and it works well with my foundation. And I'm applying it to my T-zone and over my eyes, and then I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and i'm going to apply it all over my eyelids uh, to use it as a base and i'm going to blend it out with my fingers and then i'm taking my makeup revolution iconic pro one palette and i'm taking the eyeshadow that i'm pointing at and i'm going to apply it all over my eyelids to set the concealer so that my eyeshadows don't crease and they would blend well and then I'm taking my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to take the eyeshadow that I'm pointing at from the same palette, yep, that one. And I'm going to apply it on my crease to use it as a transition shade. And I'm going to blend it really well until it looks very natural. And then I'm taking my I Heart Chocolate Palette and the uh, Skin Colored Shadow and I'm applying it right above the previous transition shade that I applied so that uh, the eyeshadows blend in smoothly into my skin if that makes sense. And then I'm taking that beautiful chocolatey shade and I'm sort of packing it on my crease and blending it at the same time. I just want to make sure that it's very much visible on my crease and blend it as well i hope you can see what i'm doing because this is sort of very hard to explain and then i'm taking that darker chocolatey brown shade and i'm going to pack it and blend it on my outer corners like you see i'm doing here and um i will make sure that it appear soft and there are no harsh edges and then I'm taking my um, tapered blending brush from eco tools and I'm going to take that darker brown shade again and I'm sort of going to connect my outer corner with my inner corner with this color I'm taking that shadow and I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm taking my flat shader brush from Echo Tools and I'm going to take that dark brown shade again and I'm going to pack it further on my outer corners because I wanted it to be very much um dark and you know i really wanted that color to be seen yeah so i i really hope this makes sense because this voiceover seems like a very big disaster and then i'm taking that shadow and blending it again um there is a lot of blending you might be very bored after seeing this after after seeing this a lot of times but um if you blend it nicely then you will get a very beautiful eye look and then I'm taking that maroon shade and I'm going to apply it um, on my outer corners for some definition um, I think I needed that but you can skip this step if you want to and then I'm taking that vanilla shade on my flat shader brush and using that to highlight my brow bone And for the star of the show, I'm going to take that beautiful whitish gold shadow 
and I'm going to apply it right on my eyelids where I did not apply any eyeshadow and I'm going to use my fingers to do so because in that way I get the greatest pigmentation and um, I think that this palette is a must buy I mean for the price you pay you get great eyeshadows great right you get great eyeshadows and this is an a point this is on point dupe for the uh, Too Faced chocolate bar palette I think and then, then I'm taking this um, highlight shade from the palette and applying it right in the center of my eyelids because that would make my eyes look much brighter and much nicer and then I'm taking this um, Alex Avian felt tip liner and I'm drawing a wing on my eyes and then I'm going to top it off with my uh, Lacme Insta liner and um, this technique makes my eyeliner much more black and much more matte and um, this also helps my eyeliner to stay in place all the day and it makes it more precise and sharp and I really love doing it all the time. And then I'm applying my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 230 and I'm blending it out with my sponge. And then I'm going to use my Lacme Absolute foundation uh, which is very thick so I use it as a concealer and I'm going to apply very little under my eyes and I'm going to blend it with my blender or sponge right and then I'm going to powder my face with Pond's powder and this is the only powder that I have and it works well with my foundation so yeah I use it all the time Um, if, if you are darker than my skin tone then I would suggest you to buy some banana powder because this does make my face look a bit whiter in person so yeah um i'm going to apply my elf eyebrow kids shadow to contour my cheekbones and my chin and my nose i used i uh, forget that part and then i'm going to use my ma bronzer and i don't like it that much but i have to use it up sort of so yeah this is milani blush in the shade rose doro i hate it as well but as I said, I have to use things up, even the ones that I hate. And this is my favorite Mary Luminizer, and I'm going to use it to highlight my face. And yeah, I'm going to highlight my face until I look like a disco ball. And I had my eyelashes put on, which was a very tough job. And then I'm um, taking my Lacme Silk Liner, which is an amazing liner, but it can only be found in India. So I'm taking that to line my waterline and tight line. And then I'm taking my smudge brush and that eyeshadow, and I'm going to blend out my lower lash line. And yeah, I think that blending out the lower lash line is very important, especially if you have very smaller eyes. It makes the eyes look much... Um, larger and then i took that highlight shade on my smudge brush again and i'm going to highlight my inner corners and then i'm going to do my eyebrows by the elf eyebrow kit and uh, eyeshadow quad from alex avian let me know if you want an eyebrow tutorial even though like these are the two steps that i mean these two steps are the only thing that i do so yeah and then i'm taking a mascara that i don't really like this is from l'oreal and i'm going to apply it under my eyes on, uh, not under my eyes i'm going to apply it on my lashes and then i use this um jacqueline lipstick in the shade auburn and i'm going to top it off with the golden rose lipstick in the shade number 14 and that completes my look this is the finished look i hope you liked it and if you do like it then please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family if you want to 
and yeah leave down any suggestions that you might have any palette that you want me to try and um oh and one more thing i'm trying to buy a new camera as i have as i'm I, as i have been saying in the last uh videos but well the camera can be expensive so yeah um and i have done this with keeping everyone's taste in mind um everyone can you know uh, pull this look off because i think that gold and you know dark moon shades really suits our bengali skin tone and i paired this with a pinkish lip pink brownish lip because i think that gold can really suit a range of lipstick colors uh, it can suit this red uh, magenta and anything you want so yeah i'm blabbering right now so um bye guys see you next time i on the sky we take flight the faster we go another day gone like a minute choose any place you raise from the faces you show